Welcome to Mr. Khan's classes. Don't you think? Why aluminium doesn't corrode? However it is a very highly reactive metal. Why aluminium ornaments look so much shiny? Why do we use aluminium either in the form of utensils or instruments a lot? A lot of questions rise in our mind when we think about aluminium. Let introduce to you about anodizing. What do you mean by anodizing? Anodizing is a process in which a thick layer of oxide is formed over aluminium to protect it from corrosion dullness and etc. For example, we have a aluminium stick. Its color is dull and a lot of scratches can be seen on that stick. However, a thin oxide layer is formed over aluminium as it is highly reactive metal. Thin layer of oxide prevents aluminium from further formation of oxide layer. So, we use anodizing process to form thick and strengthen the bond of oxide layer with aluminium. After anodizing aluminium, we can prevent it from further corrosion scratches and so on. We can also give any color to the anodized stick. Before learning anodizing process, you should know some basic concepts of anode and cathode. Remember, plus sign shows positivity whereas minus sign shows negativity. Let use those memorized points in our learning. Anode is positively charged whereas cathode is negatively charged. Does it enough to understand anodizing process? No. Here, comes your next concept of anions and cations. Anions are negatively charged whereas cations are positively charged. Let's see how ions attract to electrodes. Anode attracts anions and cathode attracts cations. Our basic concept for anodizing process is clear. Why do we use two different terms anode, cathode and anions, cations? Is there any difference between these terms? Anode and cathode are electrodes whereas anions and cations are ions of electrolyte. You may be confused with electrode and ions. To understand these two terms, take a battery and two wires. Now, connect one wire at cathode and other at anode of the battery. Take a beaker and fill it with water. The wires which are carrying current from battery to water or other liquids are known as electrodes. The wire connected at cathode is known as negatively charged electrode and, the wire connected at anode is called positively charged electrode. In chemistry, we have learned that hydrogen is positively charged, oxygen is negatively charged and molecular formulae of water is H2O. While passing electricity through electrode by a battery, the molecules of water also breaks up in two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. From this observation, we can say that ions are the charges of elements in liquid state. You have been waiting, since a long to learn anodizing process. We need the following things to understand anodizing process. One beaker. An instrument made of aluminium. Two wires, and. One battery. Let's perform the activity. Take a battery. Connect one wire at anode and other at cathode. Take a beaker, fill any acid in that beaker. Chemists use sulfuric acid mostly in anodizing process because it has many advantages. Put aluminium at anode and any cheap metal like graphite or carbon at cathode. There is no effect if you do not put any metal at cathode because hydrogen gas will be produced and it will directly go in atmosphere. As electricity passed from battery through electrode to sulfuric acid, the ions of sulfuric acid will break down in oxygen, sulfur, and hydrogen ions. Hydrogen is positively charged so it will go towards negative charge. Sulfur reacts with oxygen to form sulfur dioxide which will later react with one atom of oxygen to form sulfur trioxide again. Sulfur trioxide when dissolved in water, gives sulfuric acid again. Oxygen which is negatively charged go towards positive charge. 
At anode, excess of oxygen gas is evolved, it react with aluminium to form thick layer of oxide and also strengthen its bond with aluminium. Do you know? Diamond is completely made up of carbon atoms. If you heat it at 763 Celsius, it will completely vanish without a little ash left behind. Thanks for watching. Like comment and share.